Yo, yo, yo. Yo. You saw how I came from the left instead of the right this time? That was an accident. <clears throat> Man, am I disappointed with this Boba Fett show? It was so good. So good until this most recent episode. Welcome to Spliff Gaming and Movies. We're going to talk about the book of Boba Fett and how disappointed it made me. I'm going to let the split first. Where do we even start, bro? To be honest, started off good and the bad. And I'm going to spoil what happened because I got to talk about specific details to make you understand why I didn't like this most recent episode. So, spoiler warning, you should still check it out. The whole show overall was really, really good. Like, the whole show deserves this first season. I would give it like a, out of five, like a 4.5, 4.5. 4.5. I'll give it a 4.5. Reason why? Because let's let's start let's start with the good. The whole show had the Mandalorian, had some new characters that were really good. The new Wookiee, you know, the half the cyborg looking people, um, and Luke Skywalker, Rogu. You know, it had a lot of characters. A lot of characters. A lot of, a lot of uh, good storytelling when it came to Boba Fett, when it came to Luke Skywalker's training with Rogu, and you know how the Mandalorian comes into the story was really good all the way up to like chapter six. Um, and chapter six was was good, you know, um, but chapter seven, like it started off really good. In terms of like the fighting, especially when it came to Boba Fett and Mandalorian, but it was such a a weird. Uh, it wasn't as epic. Let's put it that way. It wasn't as epic as I thought it was gonna be. Like it was good, but at the same time, kind of corny in some parts. Like. I don't like how they handled the whole robot scene, you know, with the two freaking, uh, I forgot what they're called, the two droids that are like with the shield, the really big ones with the fucking machine guns. Um, the way they handled that situation, like it was really cool, Boba Fett coming in with the Rancor, like, ah, you know, fucking everybody up. But Boba Fett himself, like, I feel like, all right, I get he's old and stuff, but then he had his badass moments, but not as many badass moments as I was expecting in this show. You know, like even even that fight, even the fight scene with this Boba Fett and the Mandalorian taking on like everybody, like it was good. Don't get me wrong, it was good, but it was kind of cheesy a little bit. You know, like like come on, like after they run bullets, they're just there like taking shots. <laughs> on their armor look like fucking power rangers for a second like what was going on there like and then like the way that they approached it i don't know it's just it felt something it felt like this last episode has something missing it has something missing and uh that's why like i'm giving it a 4.5 because even though overall the show was great i love it i'll probably watch it again um but that last that last episode wasn't as exciting as I wanted it to be compared to when like, uh, when was it chapter five, when the Mandalorian comes in, you know, like, or even like in the beginning. Then again, I mean, like it was really good. 
It was really good. It was just a little bit disappointing. You know, I don't want to be too harsh on it. But uh, I really liked the show. Like, I really did. And you should definitely check it out if you haven't watched it yet. Um, but uh, I can't wait for a new season. Like, I really want to see where they take this Boba Fett story. Um, I want to see... I also really want to see, like, Rogu develop as a character. Like, I want to see him as a Jedi. You know, as the one who's, like, basically taking up the mantle after Yoda. I think Rogu is like the last of his species, if I'm not mistaken. Or his species is like almost extinct. But I gotta say, those Luke Skywalker sh scenes were great. Like, out of the whole show, I would have to say that Boba Fett's beginning on like what happened was good. Even he had his good moments, his badass boss moments. Mandalorian was good. Uh, I love the Wookiee. I love the scenes that they were Luke Skywalker. I just didn't like how anticlimactic it felt towards the end, really. Like it felt like it was getting so epic like every episode was better 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 and then chapter seven was kind of like it was good it was like taking you for a ride and then like the ride was over and it was like what the fuck what the fuck like it was a one minute ride bro like you know what i mean but that's all what that's all I'm really gonna say about it that's all i'm really gonna say about it um but um yeah I feel like they should release more Star Wars stuff. I feel like I've been craving Star Wars a lot to the point where I actually saw, uh, I re-saw um, seven, eight, and nine, you know? Cause I actually like uh, Rey Skywalker. I really do. I like her character. I liked her, I like her character better than a lot of other Jedis. So I would like to see where they go with her and other stuff. You know, this one, one, one show a year with Star Wars. I wish they would release more. You know, like with Marvel, they tend to like release what? They released like two or three shows at the, last year. Loki, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Right, two shows. Yeah, I think it was two shows. You know, but um, thank you for watching. Peace out. Let me know what you thought of the book, the book of Boba Fett. What you thought of the last chapter and the rest of the chapter um peace out love you deuces see you on the next episode